So let's check out the overall course objectives. And as the name implies, this is a basic course. So we are going to understand a little bit on the basics on modeling, how to set up a universe via the properties or physical properties environment, and then set up the simulation cases. Eventually, we are going to work on different unit operations and you will start understanding the overall concept on how to understand how a simulation is done. Okay, so first we're going to get to know the general flowship concepts. For instance, what's a case? What's how can I open a case, save a case, open a case? How to differ from cases, simulations, and workbooks? Then we go to understand the different simulation and physical environments. What's an environment? How can be how can we work on the environments and then how to set up adequate physical environment properties. For instance, if we are working on the physical properties, we will know that we need at least one component and at least one fluid package to be able to continue with the simulation. Now we go be with also basic requirements to build up a simulation. What is the least requirements to work with a simulation and to get to run a simulation? This is a very important part. We will be learning as well how to make some manipulations on the flow sheet, how to build, get rid of some units you don't want, add important units, how to be moving between environments, how to navigate and how to optimize, add streams, change names, etc. Also, I will say one of the most important parts of the course, on this basic course, is to understand what's a unit operation how it's modeled in Aspen Heises, and how can we know the inputs and outputs of each unit operation. For instance, you know already as an engineer that a heat exchanger will require a temperature inlet, temperature outlet, heat duty, material streams, and so on. So you will need to understand that if you give, for instance, the inlet input, you have one temperature, and you give a final temperature, then of course you are going to be calculating, well, the simulation will be calculating the heat load. And then once you get to work with some unit operations, one of the objectives is to actually be working on the workshop itself. So you could read this uh, PowerPoint presentation and you can check out all the video courses, but if you are not working on the software itself, you're not, uh, doing the simulations at the time we do it here in the videos, you will not learn that much. This is like riding a bike. If you can read about riding a bike, you can see videos on riding a bike, but if you are not actually riding a bike, it's very hard that you're going to learn, or at least you're going to learn very slow compared to actually working or riding a bike. Also, one of the main objective is to not only run a simulation, but to actually know how to get data how to give a, let's say, the results in more such, let's say, more suitable or friendly ways, for instance, tables, some graphs, and how to report raw data, because you're going to have a simulation, and the simulation has plenty of data. We need to synthesize all that data into the, let's say, interesting data we require. And finally, one of the course objectives is to teach you the basic technical stuff. For instance, some uh, extensions, what's the difference between versions, exporting some files, saving files, what's the difference between importing and saving and exporting, etc. And yeah, that's essentially the course objectives. The main approach, as stated before, is we're going to check out some theory. For instance, this video is theory, a theoretical video. I'm telling you theoretical stuff but the most important part right here is the practice we need to practice you need to actually build up your workshop when we are for instance in the unit operations those are videos which take between three to eight minutes so many people will i'm pretty sure just watch the video don't just watch it actually do it by yourself so if uh, we're building a pump open heises get the pump get the inlet at the outlet, at the input data, check out the output data, double click it, check out for the results, compare your results, not only watch the video, okay? 
And after that, we will be working in the three, three case studies, which of course I'm pretty sure that if you just watch it, you will not get the most of this course. You need, you need to build cases with the help of the videos and be comparing always why do we choose that input? What do, didn't we choose, I don't know, maybe another input? Why are we giving temperature and not pressure? Or why are we giving the heat duty instead of the defining the temperature on the stream? So this is very important. Try to keep up with the three case studies. And finally, this is, let's say, a final exam. Even though I will give you the final results, you need to work out the simulation. I will give you the problem statement, let's say, all the specific data you require to make the simulation. And you need to go by yourself, work it on HISIS, get the results, and then we compare our results right here. We should get something similar. Otherwise, we are having some errors or maybe some data is not well specified, okay? Also, very important, once again, we are going to try, or we're going to give the best uh, result or reporting of results. No one likes to have a huge ton of numbers, which probably you, I don't know, you're giving data of a unit operation that we are not analyzing, so why give it? Just because Aspen Heises gives it to you doesn't mean that you need to give it to the person analyzing the process. For instance, if you're just analyzing a heat duty of, I don't know, a single unit, just take out this unit and make a report of this unit. Avoid giving the report of all the unit operations in the process. And well, in this basic course, we are, we are going to give a, a very small analysis of data. This is basic course, so of course the processes are not that complex. So you will understand the main objective of the course. For instance, if we have a flash unit, we're not going to analyze that much on the equilibrium. We are just going to analyze how we give an input and maybe the most important part of the analysis will be how it's distributed between the vapor phase and the liquid phase, how much percentage is compared to the feed, maybe, I don't know, is there any pressure loss, temperature changes, whatever you are having there. We are going to make a very small analysis, so don't worry on this. This is actually more for more advanced courses. Right now, we're just going to stick to know how to model and get some results. And finally, the conclusions we are going to have a course conclusion that's actually just to wrap up all the uh, let's say important things we saw in the course and if you missed something maybe you should go and get back for instance if we are discussing on the final case study but you didn't do your final case study well you should go back and so on okay now last but not least this is a typical course which I teach on online or many cases live for students so i typically say this is this will be a good idea if you have full time let's say i weekend we typically start with the first day first day it seems a lot of day uh, of, of stuff right here but actually this is the shortest day we work with getting started some questions how to get help we give a definition of the physical properties introduction to the flow sheet and this is one of the most important and interesting parts the unit operation so that will be maybe a Friday afternoon we take it maybe from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. about five hours working of course if I'm with only one student it would take much less but if we are in a group it takes typically between four hours with one hour chill okay also the second day is one of the longest days it also takes between four to six hours. We are working with each case study. We are changing the inputs, how we are analyzing how to, for instance, if we're giving a temperature, what will happen if we give a heat duty, or if we are defining three streams, what will happen if we define one, one unit operation and two streams and so on. And the third case is, the, the third day is one of the, let's say, shortest days. We just review this right here. They typically take this on let's say like exam, we take it, we compare data, we try to fix all the cases that didn't converge or got the same data. And finally, we gave a review on the course, what we learned and how we can follow our studies on Aspen Heises.